You know, in my time, I've seen the wind blow a three-story building to the ground. And I've seen lightning strike and burn a forest down. And after these things happened, the remains were hauled away. And where the building and the forest once stood, there was nothing left but two empty places. Now, empty places are lonely places. And the loneliest and the most empty place I can think of is the inside of a little child when he or she wants to be loved by mom and dad and mom and dad are too busy or too selfish to pay attention the child reaches out for their affection and there is none instead of love he is used abused and neglected until his love and respect for mom and dad begin to fade and it keeps on fading until finally it's all gone then empty is the heart of a love-hungry child. No more tears for him. He's cried them all. Now, I know a child who lived that way. But you know, he never carried a chip on his shoulder. And he went through a cold and senseless war. That little family soldier. His mom drank hard liquor and all that she could get. And his daddy rolled and smoked those funny-smelling cigarettes. And he was always in line of fire when the fights began. But he just stood there at attention and obeyed all their commands. They'd march him up the stairs and throw him in his room, twist his little arms and torture him and leave him with his wounds. He thought of going over the hill time and time again. But he'd just cry and snuggle up to his little brother Jim. The baseball team quit calling. He had to sell his bike. He mowed lawns in the afternoon and cleaned the house at night. Now, the teacher just didn't understand, because he wouldn't tell why his grades were falling off, so when school let out, he failed. Now, they lived on welfare money and what little he brought in, and when the food was low, he would do without. That's just the way it was with him. He worked with colds and fevers, and his coat was thin and worn, and he wore long sleeves to hide the ugly bruises on his arms. You see, his mom and dad were brutal. Why, it's a wonder he remembered how to find or force a smile. Their tempers fired, their voices roared. That was his reveille. And taps was when they both passed out. That's when he got to sleep. He dreamed of things he couldn't have like toy trains and planes, swimming at the swimming hole in baseball parks and games. But dreams for him were meant to see, not for him to touch. Cause dreams like these were just for kids. And he was 10 and all grown up. A one man army, that's what he was, drafted into life working hard and taking care of a worthless man and wife. He was afraid, yet he was brave. But not once did he retreat. This hero child of modern times would not accept defeat. He was chaplain, guard, teacher, cook, prisoner of war, a perfect model of more than an average all-American boy. Caught between his daddy, his mommy, and their sins, and he lived through a senseless war, the kind where no one wins. Then one day he won two tickets to a baseball game. So he took his little brother Jim and they were gone most of the day. But when the game was over and they walked back across the town to find their house had caught on fire and burned down to the ground. The fireman took his little hand and very sadly said, your mom and dad were asleep inside, son, and both of them are dead. The fireman waited for the tears to spill, but not one tear left his eyes, because this little family soldier just couldn't cry. <laughs>